Hi, this is Isaac Harper and I want to welcome you to our series of time-saving tips. In this tip, I want to show you a great way to control the appearance of your different types of dimensions without having to change to separate overrides each time you change dimension types, along with being able to update all of your types of dimensions that share the same system variables globally. You can accomplish this through a parent-child relationship right inside the Dimension Style Manager. Let's go in and show you how. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my Annotate button, and I have gone in previously and set up my dimension styles the way I'd like to see them in an architectural drawing. When I do a linear dimension, you will notice that I do have tick marks, my text is above, and it is showing feet and inches. Now, from here, when I go in and add a different style, for example, let's say I want to do the diameter of this column, you will notice that when I drag it out, it's pretty much more like a linear style, not the way I'd want to see a diameter type dimension. The same as if I were to go in and pick radius to do this arch wall inside my foyer, once again, it is not really the style that I'd like to see. There's an easy way to be able to control this without having to have multiple overrides in your drawing and having to switch between styles. The way I can do this is come into the Dimension Style Manager, which is the little diagonal arrow in the corner of the Dimensions panel on the ribbon. This will take me in, and if you'll notice that I'm using an Office Standard Dimension Style. Normally, people would go in and use Modify, or they would go in and create another style so that they could put their radius and diameter type dimensions there. I'm going to show you a way where we can keep everything under one style. The way you do this is you go and click on New. Instead of putting in a style name under New, what you're going to do is come down to the Use For, and I'm going to change this to a diameter dimension. Now, inside this diameter dimension, I'm going to go ahead and hit Continue. And notice that even in my preview, it's not showing me all the different types of dimensions, only the diameter style. From here, I'm going to go ahead and change the things that I want to do. Like, for example, I would like to use a closed filled arrow. I want to change my text to be horizontally aligned. And I also want to make sure that it's centered within that line. If I come over to fit, I don't necessarily maybe want to always draw the line between, so I'll go ahead and remove that as well. Once I hit OK and hit Close, you will see that automatically it has gone in and changed my diameter dimension to match the style that I want. And it's still reading that other style. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our radius. Once again, I go into the Dimension Style Manager. Now I want to show you what happened here previous. Notice that it created a child relationship to that parent dimension of Office Standard. Once again, we're going to hit New change to the radius style, continue, and now it is showing us the radius style dimension. From here, let's change this to a closed field also. And in this particular case, maybe I don't want the center mark to show up. I'm going to go ahead and click that on None. Under Text, I'm going to change it to Horizontal. Make sure it is centered within it. And once again, I do not want to draw that line all the way to the center, so I'm going to turn that off. So now when I go ahead and hit Close all the way out, you will notice that it has now updated that style. Now that I've created my different styles, let me show you a really powerful feature that I have inside these styles that I've just done. Let's say that I wanted to change the font of my dimension text style. Well, if I had created separate styles, I would have to go in and change the font for each one. But since I used a parent-child relationship, you will notice that all I have to do is go into the parent, go into modify, go into text, and I can go into the text style manager, and from here I can simply change the text to the style I want. Let's go ahead and go to the city blueprint. And I want to make sure my width factor is set to 1. I'm going to hit apply, close hit OK, close, and immediately it's gone in and updated all three different types of dimensions. So it's globally controlled throughout my whole entire drawing. I hope this helps you in your dimension challenges, and I look forward to our next tip.